this is Sean Tyson here at Victoria Star Motors just doing a quick tutorial on how to get the Becker Map Pilot navigation set up on your Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van. So obviously you see there's a navigation button there so once you stick your key in you turn it once for your auxiliary controls you'll notice the screen turns on your warning system um, will uh, be activated essentially it'll look like this so if there's no navigation module installed it'll say no navigation module connected pretty simple. All it does is it comes in a, uh, a little box here and basically you can transport this from vehicle to vehicle and uh, you can update all that on the computer as well. You get one free lifetime, um, one free update on the uh, on the product code and then, uh, then you have to pay for any updates, you know, two, three years down the road. On the second part of this video, we're just going over how the whole system starts up. Uh, from the Becker map pilot as soon as you turn your system on it's installed in the glove box already so you basically just slide the whole uh, panel in there once it you let it do its updates um, it'll it'll show up as Washington most likely as your first destination give it about two minutes or less and it, uh, it usually catches where you are um, basically that's your map your first your original screen is looks like this so it'll say last destination, enter destination, settings, uh, no guidance activated, so there's no nothing happening. So if, say you're in a parking lot, there's still something that's going, you've got a previous address, that'll show at the bottom here. You can access your actual map without navigation, just to have it on display like we had earlier, normally as any other car would. Um, the next kind of easiest thing is you want to go through your settings um, to make sure everything is the way you want it. So guidance settings, you want your map settings, how you want it to look. You got traffic settings, so you want you want to be notified of, and just regular system settings, screen settings, you know, voice control, how loud you want it. But basically, you've got a couple options. So say you're going to enter an address. First thing you want to do is make sure that you are in your actual country. Okay, so you want to make sure that whatever country you go to, so for Canadian residents, obviously you're going to go to Canada, but you can change that to the States, Mexico, if you are traveling down there. Uh, easiest way is also to select your st your state or province. Um, easiest way is just to type it in, perfect. And then you got your voice activation button. So basically all your controls are done through the little scroll knob here. So if you turn that clockwise, counterclockwise I should say, it goes up and basically you can click that and tell you where to go. So I've already got an address in here, so say we're going to a different address. 125 Centennial Road, Kitchener. Boom. It is that easy. Then you start guidance. As long as you properly pronounce the words, it's, uh, it's pretty uh, irreversible. Then the next kind of thing here is nice when you're driving. So say you've got a destination entered in the system. Once you go through your menus here, it'll show a bunch of different options. So it'll say the meters counting down where the direction of travel is. It'll say 400 meters. The northwest will actually change to a, a right arrow or a left arrow or a merge arrow, depending on what the navigation tells you to do or just a straight. And then it'll say which road you're going to be turning onto. So you've got two ways to see it if you're driving. You can turn the screen off at nighttime if it's distracting to you and still have your navigation working through there. So that's a nice little feature. But basically after that, you press your scroll button and you press start and everything starts for you. It's about two calculated. seconds. It calculates the route for you. It gives you an alternative route as well. So you can go down and calculate an alternative route. So if you really know that there's construction somewhere and it's not gonna work, that's the easiest way to, uh, to do that. Any navigation button is just on the side. So if you're in your radio, for example, radio's on, you, all you have to do is press your navigation and it changes back to that. So it's as simple as that. That's the navigation um, from Harman and it's the Becker Map Pilot that's installed in the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter cargo vans and passenger vans.